Diebold here, possibly on my last training hike before I hit the approach trail and attempt the through hike. I call this my Amicalola Stairs approach trail pre-hike because as you'll see in a few minutes, I do a ton of steps and then I hike four and a half miles. And so basically what I do is I do double steps and half the miles of that first day. And I'm a little bit scared because so many people on Jimmy's video and other vloggers that I followed have said, skip the approach trail, you don't need it. Why chance it, why wear yourself down? But it's always been in my brain to see the falls that way and uh, and to spend the first day keeping miles low and just doing that approach and then leaving the second day from the top without having to shuttle up there. And so that's the way my transportation's worked out with my wife. Lodge reservations worked out, so that's what we're going for. But the only thing that I'm waiting on is what I call the ATIs, as in a Appalachian Trail eyeballs. It's the look. And I've seen the look in those that left early to mid-February and are on the trail now. I've seen the look in Jimmy's videos. And I've seen the look on the guys that started out that were taken away by the by an injury. And it's just it's just a look that you cannot explain. They say the AT is mental and I truly believe it. I've done all I can physically and gear prep wise, but the mental is what it comes down to. And the mental is reflected through the eyes. It's always been written that the eyes are the soul, the sight to the soul. And so I'm waiting on those and I'll wait on trail sense. Trail sense is what I call knowing where to put your foot down and not slip and slide to meet the conditions. PT on the AT, he's got trail sense. He may not have his trail legs, I think he does because of the pace he's setting, much like early riser. <clears throat> but he has trail sense. He's, he knows where to put his foot. I'm just hoping that through my training, it doesn't take me long because that is a precursor to injury. Pack weight, fully loaded. I got it covered because it's kind of snow rain mix today right around 33, 34, 35 degrees. And, uh, and, whew, it's hard to walk and talk at the same time. I don't know how much of this trail vlogging I'll be doing because it's such a personal thing for me when I hike. I get into my own brain like nobody can. And so even talking is difficult at my age. But the pack, fully loaded, water, fuel, uh, Gatorade bottle to start out with, four days of food, which is probably more looking at PT's, again, looking at PT's resupply in the Smokies. Oh man, I carry way too much, probably for that first four days, especially when hunger doesn't kick in. But I'm under eight pounds and that's two pounds per day. I'm just under seven pounds actually with my food so I'll go through it one more time this next week and think about it but I think it's pretty well set and the uh, total gear loadout on my back right now is 32 and a half pounds and so like I told somebody else the weight is what it is I've thought through every article and every piece of clothing, and I'm doing what I'm doing. And the weight is what it is. As long as I stayed under 35, starting out of town, I thought, I'm doing good. And so 32.5 is pretty good. 
dropped two pounds that first day in food. And uh, I don't know how much water I'll actually carry. I don't know if I'll carry the full Gatorade and a full water bottle. If I'll go half and half, we'll just wait and see how it works out. But I'm excited. A week from today is travel day. And uh, I've enjoyed the ATK, uh, ATKO videos that were out there and I really wanted to go but I, I knew if I went that I'd leave right then and there and that wouldn't be good. I needed this last week. Needed it to say goodbye to fellow hiker friends that did a great send off for me that have helped me train and listen to this dream of mine and so I'm blessed by them. Uh, got together with family over the past weekend have some more family issues to take care of in the next couple of days and uh, getting to see a daughter that took time off from her job in between tours company tours and work and so she's swinging through town and then again my oldest daughter trying to help her through grad school just needed this week to get my final prep done and again it's more family right now than it is trail and that's the way it should be before I head off and take take something from these people take time and energy away from family which is truly a blessing to be able to do that I feel pretty good about my pre-season conditioning and uh, we'll just wait until next week oh man Amanda Best talks about runny nose that's my biggest problem is trying to trying to keep the runny nose away especially in the cold and I wish I could snot rock it but I can't because it's too watery But I feel good about preseason conditioning. I pr feel pretty good about the prep. Uh, looking forward to watching Hikeification's early videos and following him up the trail. Ringo, Sleeves, PT, Jeep out, out in front. So many great vloggers and hikers. And, uh, and just hoping that the good Lord blesses the hike and uh, and takes me on the journey I'm supposed to have and that's all you can hope for okay getting ready to do my last set of steps in preparation for what I call the AAT Appalachian Approach Trail and this is step number one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Goes all the way up to 77. And this will be 1,204 for the day. Again, double the 604. I'm sorry, 1208. Double the 604 for the approach trail. still wins me Whew. and the legs do burn I'm blessed to have a metro park system that is truly amazing 
and a meetup group called the Dayton Hikers. That's truly unbelievable. My entire working life, I really never took advantage of the Metro Park system. And what a mistake. Truly amazing. And it's got a combination of bike paths that I use on days when I really don't feel like pushing my legs in mud and muck and rock. But there's another Metro Park close by, another damn Metro Park close by that gives me plenty of slippage and rocks and some up and down hills. Nothing like on the trail. I don't think you can get anything like on the trail without being on the trail or traveling a distance to Red River Gorge or there's a place in Ohio called Shawnee State Park and that's called the Little Smokies of Ohio but even those don't touch the AT or the Smokies themselves so but I've done all that I can do now it's in the good Lord's hands all I can do is keep the faith keep hiking north and count my blessings Probably next time we'll be putting out a video will be sometime after I'm at Amicalola and starting the trail.